I guess for, for me, for me, I, I mean, I really associate that playing with Jimi Hendrix, but, um, and that's, that's where I learned it from. Um, when I was a little kid and I heard Little Wing, I remember, I remember going to, going to some like Indian, in Florida at the summer, I went to some Indian get together picnic and had like an Indian band, it was on an Indian reservation and the band there played Little Wing and, and I remember I thought about it a lot and I decided that nobody could possibly know how to play Little Wing. Like I, I felt like, I felt like that, it's, it's in the, you know, category of impossible to play, you know, like, like, and, and I saw this guy play it and I just couldn't believe my eyes, like this, this guitar player up there was, was playing it and I, I felt, I really felt like he was doing the impossible. So that, that kind of playing, it took me a while because it, it exists on so many levels. You've got the, you've got the chord being played and then, and then, and then you've got a, a, a sort of a lead part going on on top of it and then you also get on top of the lead part these extra strings that are being barred that are on the high strings. It ends up sounding to the ear of somebody who doesn't know how to play guitar it sound, or somebody who's at a beginning stage. Is it, it really sounds like it's like three guitars at once. And that, that was why Little Wing really had me confused because I thought, how could that be one guitar? It sounds like three guitars, you know? But I guess that where Jimmy was getting that style from was Curtis Mayfield, it was the, from what I understand, the originator of that style of of rhythm guitar playing and so you know his, his work in the impressions and all his great solo records and everything it was real innovative stuff and I know it was a big influence on, on Jimi Hendrix's playing. Yeah I mean for me I think using my thumb definitely has a lot to do with the way it sounds when I do it um, because it gives my fingers a lot more freedom. For me like I could never play this chord that way it just it would be too limiting for me. I, there's only so much you can do from there and, and when your thumbs taking care of that you have a lot of freedom here and like like so so that for me that, that's a big part of playing in that style like especially on on Danny California where it's where I'm that thumb is reaching those those notes you know like you know it's, it's like it just couldn't be done if you tried to do it this way you know and so um, so that's a big part of it but as far as as far as hitting it I guess um, I guess it just comes from years of doing it. It's not something that I've ever really thought about that much. I know, I know the the ability to, to, uh, to, to block the strings that you don't want to be using with this hand, rather than not picking them. I tend to pick all the strings, and and uh, if I don't want a certain note to ring through, I'll lift my finger up on it without lifting up all the way, and that's just something that. It's second nature to me now, but I guess to somebody who's who's starting, who's in their first couple of years of playing, it's really a good thing to start thinking about is is uh, is getting in the habit of 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 taking all the strings that way. You can get really the 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 real rhythmic kind of attack, and um, and then and then with this hand, if you if you if you want to play a certain the note that you would normally be just picking by itself, you you. Um, you, you basically block every other string from making a sound if you just want one string to sound through and you just get in the habit of of muting the strings that you don't want to hear rather than not playing them. That's like just barely pressing down on the, on the, on the strings, you know, to get the real percussive, funky sound. That was the original idea with the James Brown stuff, I guess, was to make the guitar more like a percussion instrument rather than, rather than like a guitar. Um, so it's basically just, just, just not holding, just, just barely, barely pressing down, kind of making it so it just makes more of a percussive noise so you just don't press down all the way. For me, that, that kind of playing has everything to do with just making sure that your that your right hand can just be really precise with stuff like that and just be really deep in the groove.
it's like it, it's kind of like the idea of when you subtract all that space that can go in between two things, like if you were to just play it like this, as opposed, it just it just it just creates this dimension to it because then you've got two you've got a high thing and a low thing and it's basically like two things rather than just playing a chord.